During the month of April, we are collecting stuffed animals for the Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. Kids love fuzzy little friends. So be sure to place your donations in the box in the foyer. What you doing? I'm gonna put myself in the shoe box. Nope. Why not? You're enormous. Well, you never said how big the stuffed animals have to be. It's a shoe box. Can you fit into a shoe box, Mr. Bear? How big are the shoes? We are collecting small stuffed animals. That's size discrimination. Are you so excited about the business meeting? No. Business and meeting in the same sentence? Yuck. Why would I want to go to that? Because you're a church member and this is your chance for your voice to be heard and you can vote! Yay! I remain unconvinced. And there will be candy. Yes, there will be candy. We will throw it like they do in parades. And also bunny rabbits, tiny little baby bunny rabbits hopping all over the place. And clowns, circus clowns, and also carnival rides. You're kidding me, right? You'll never know unless you come to the meeting on April 28th after the service. Next Sunday is Easter and we will celebrate our risen savior together. But first on Friday, we will come together to remember the day that Jesus was put to death. Join us at seven o'clock PM as we focus our attention on the cross and contemplate the ultimate sacrifice of our great redeemer. Are you ready for this weekend? Yes. I have my Easter basket for the egg hunt on Saturday morning at 11 a.m. I have my blanket for the sunrise service at 7 a.m. on Sunday. And I have my rally sign for the celebration service at 10.30. Back up your Easter basket? You know the egg hunt is for children, right? Uh, yeah. Obviously. Obviously, this basket is for my toddler. Obviously, I'm too old to hunt for eggs. Obviously, the egg hunt is for elementary schoolers. I, I'm not, I'm not that. Oh, come here, come here. Uh, invite your friends and your family members to join in the celebration this weekend. Bring children to the egg hunt. Bring everyone to church with you on Sunday. Don't bring a rally sign. Did you know that Pastor Troy is enrolled in a doctorate of ministry at Corbin University? I did, yes. Why, why is he doing this? Does he know how much work is involved, all the reading and the writing he, and He the... knows, he, he knows. We all know. He just apparently enjoys reading 800 page books about how the predominantly religious society of the Middle Ages has been transformed to a predominantly secular society today. That's fun. Pastor Toy still needs $1,100 for this year's tuition. If you want to contribute to his continuing education, you can donate to the Pastoral Education Fund. Place your donations in an envelope or you can pay online through our website. But please, if you do feel led to contribute a few dollars, don't do it in place of your regular tithes and offerings. When this is over, is he going to make you call him doctor? Probably. <laughs>